So next thing I want to show you before we get to using an editor, and I'm going to show you how to use Atom, and uh, I'll also, those are the two I recommend for editors. But I want to show you how to create a new project, and then we'll look at editors. And so to create a new project, I'm going to go to GitHub. You need a GitHub account. I'm going to go to repositories, and then choose new. I'll give it any name I want. And that's it, and then public, and don't put a description, don't add any of this stuff, and create repository, okay? And now, I need, in my workspace, to create this folder, the same folder. You could name them different. I think it's better to name them the same so you know they're associated. And in my uh, workspace, I'm gonna go to Documents, go to my workspace, Source, GitHub, into my GitHub username, and then these would be all my repos. I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it that same thing, any name I want. Same as my repo name right here. Next thing I need is I need a git ignore file. A git ignore file is going to ignore stuff that you don't want committed all the time. Best way for me to get a git ignore file is just to look at one of my old repos. Feel free to do the same. I'm going to look at one of my core, new, more current ones, which is like... Golang Web Dev. And down here in Golang Web Dev, there's a git ignore. I'm going to grab that, choose raw, and then copy all that code. Copied all that code. And now I could go to, uh, I guess, my terminal. And I'm in there, and I'm going to change to documents, go workspace, source, GitHub, goes to 11. And uh, inside goes to 11, I called this new repo what? Any. Thing, anything I want, right? What did I call it? Any name I want. So I called it any, any, any name, lowercase, any name I want. And I'm going to do a nano, and I'm going to do git ignore to create that. And uh, you could do notepad if you're working on Windows. And instead of nano, paste that in, control X to exit, save it with a Y, hit enter, ls, I've got ls-la, I've got my, my git ignore in there. My git ignore is in there, okay? I'm now going to make this a git repo. This, today's training is not going to cover git, github, but basically this is all you need to know is what I'm showing you to do this. Git init is the first command I want to run, so I'm just going to git init that. Right, and now when I do an LSLA, I see this is a Git repo right there. Right, that wasn't there before. It's now a Git repo. It's got Git ignore in that. I can now do Git status, a Git command. And it tells me, hey, there's an untracked file. Right, nothing added to commit, but untracked file present. I'm going to do a Git add. First, I'll check my notes. So read me commit. I need to do a Git add. So Git add dash dash all. Right, and then Git commit and dash m adds. Git, git ignore file, file, first commit, okay? Or whatever message you want. And now I come back here and I need these. This is going to connect the repository on my computer with the master at the origin, the master at the origin. So I put in that command right there, kapow. And then I come and I put in this command right here, kapow. And now those two folders are, commit, are connected. So now if I come back to any name I want, I have stuff in there. And as I, as I add new things, some other file.txt, right? And info, info, lorem, info, control X, save it, yes, ls, ls-la, there's all the stuff that's in there, get status, right? Some other file, get add, dash, dash, all, get commit, Commit uh, adds uh, first txt txt file get push. That is now all connected. Well, it should have pushed. So what did I type in wrong? Error. Passback adds first text file did, did not match any files known to get get status. What is up? And get commit. So get status shows me. I have that git commit dash m uh, trying another commit, whatever, and then git status, and then git push. So for whatever reason, I screwed up my commit on my last one, my message. So now that's pushed, and here, if I refresh that, that file's now here. 
So I'm using GitHub. It's connected to my folder in my workspace. That's how you kind of set up a new project. I'm ready to start coding. All I have to do is open up that folder in my editor. We'll do that in the next video.